okay, this video is out there for anybody who's thinking about flashing their Xbox 360. Um, I'm making this because of all the problems I had and misinformation and new information versus old information and what to use, what not to use, what not to do. Um, this only applies to what I have, which is an Xbox 360 Fat, not a Slimline. It's a Fat, and this just has a Modern Warfare 2 Special Edition. Um, and I have a 93450C Light on Drive in there, which, as far as I could tell, and red was the hardest, most complicated type to flash. Um, first thing you need, of course, is a torque set T10 to open up this. There's a video on that. I'm not getting into that. This is where it gets good. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, you need to communicate with the drive once you get it out to your PC. Um, I read you could use your main board. I tried it on mine. A SATA connection didn't wouldn't communicate. Um, so then they said, uh, I read somewhere that you can use a PCI card. So I went and bought this thing. A cheapo Promise chip card. Will not communicate with Jungle Flasher, which is the program used to flash. You have to buy a VIA chipset card. This right here sent me back like two weeks because I've ordered this, didn't work, didn't order this. Um, okay, VIA chipset have to have for Jungle Flasher. Then you need to power your drive. A lot of guys, oh, just use your Xbox to power it up. Too many problems with that, issues with it. If it's not plugged into a TV with an HDMI cable, it may shut off on you. Um, another, the biggest thing to me was that there was a lot of talk about if you power it up with this and the drive's out and the SATA uh, cable's not connected to the main board, it will flag the Xbox. The so next time you're in, on uh, Xbox Live, you'll be flagged that it's been tampered with. Just don't even deal with that. Just pull it out, power it up with this or some anything else that you can buy. I bought this because it was cheaper. CK3 Mini made by Team Executioner. They make bigger ones. This one's just a power, has a little eject, but you don't really use it for this to drive power in. You don't use a Molex, you use a uh, like a uh, floppy drive. If your PC doesn't have a floppy drive power, they include all those connectors. So USB to Molex, Molex to floppy, boom, you got power. Then you need a Probe 3. You have to have this way easier than doing trace cuts. Not that expensive. This goes on this side to power your drive and then Jungle Flasher has all the information on how to do that. That's all you need to do to, to flash. This will help you out with the the backup files you have. ABGX 360, my favorite one of my favorite programs. I always set it to auto fix. Uh, level three right here. And every backup you have is going to have a .dvd file. What you do is you put your ISO right there, hit launch, it'll patch or create a .dvd file for your backup. And you use that .dvd file, load it into image burn and do that, and burn your disk. After you burn it, use K-Probe. Um, I, as you can tell, I have an iHas 524, I bought it off eBay for like 35 bucks, had iXtreme Burner Max program uh, firmware already on it, so you don't have to worry about it. Just do that. Don't even try truncating it. Just buy one of these, and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, the burn and being on Xbox Live are just having bad burns because of truncating. Anyway, after you burn it with an iHaz drive, have to set this to 4x. Hit that. Come back in like 20, 40 minutes. What you're looking for is a C1 average to be below five total, less than 100. C2 should be less than that. If it's above. I've had them, one of my first burns was like 400 total, the thing wouldn't even, Xbox wouldn't even recognize it. So I think a lot of people are having problems when they're burning backups is they're not checking their burn and not adjusting image burn to make a better burn. Those are just guidelines, not 100%. As you can see, I play this one a lot, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It was 192.21, 92 is actually 92 above for the 100 maximum and 16.99 average is not that great, but it still works. All these worked. That's probably one of the better burns closer to the specs. Hope that helps you guys out with some information. I had a really hard time because this information is not in one place. Uh, leave your remarks if it helps you out.